Hey, I'm coming to you from this beautiful master plan community located just outside of Jacksonville. It's in St. Johns County. It's called Rivertown. Located off the St. Johns River, this place is absolutely fantastic. I just discovered it myself a few weeks ago and had to come out here and shoot a video. One, it's got two amenity centers. One is actually on the St. Johns River. We're going to show you that. We're going to show you actually both of them. A third one is planned. It's got all kinds of parks, walkways. Uh, they got the dog park. The neighborhoods are unique. Each one, the houses, even though yeah, their model models are a lot of models are the same. Man, it doesn't look like it the way they've set it out. And then some of these neighborhoods, I mean, the style of these houses is, is fantastic. When you hear about they don't make homes like they used to with the style, well, we're going to see a difference here. We're going to drive through, and then I'm going to walk through also. We've got a lot to cover, and I'm going to do it in three. Hey, I've got a lot to cover in this video over here in Rivertown. But before we get too deep into the video, I just want to say my name is Tom Kerr. I'm just a regular guy who happens to be a real estate agent here in North Florida. I get a lot of calls off my YouTube videos of people wanting to relocate here to North Florida. Some people even want to sell. Also, hey, if after watching this video or any of my other videos on my channel, you decide you'd like to work with me to help you buy a home or sell your home, then you can contact me at this number and also at this email address. Hey, let's get to it now. All right, right here, I'm at one of the entrances to the river town. Now, what I wanted to show you before we start getting too far into it is just how nice even the road leading up to the entrance of river town is. As you can look, as we look down here, there's this nice bike pathway. There's also a bike lane in the road, but I would probably rather ride my bike on this pathway and a walkway also but look how nice and tree lined it is it's asphalt paved i mean this is fantastic so even though there's plenty to ride and walk in river town itself just the fact that you've got this option outside of it for a nice long ride is even better all right i'm going to take you through some of the neighborhoods now we're going to drive through a little bit and like i say walk through and usually what I'm just going to start off with right now, I'm starting off from where the Welcome Center is. Now here, the Welcome Center is behind me. And the Welcome Center is the place that we would, I would meet you if you were looking for homes here, or to set you up with one of the, uh, the builder agents that, that I work with. And while we're here, before we drive off, I just want to show you something here. I'm not going to, now I'm not going to walk through the models. This isn't a video about the models, but I just want to show you what they have here, that where they got their models and model row because it's incredible. I haven't seen a place that has so many models available in one location. So I'm just going to quickly just show you that and then we'll head out in the car and start driving around. Okay, now I'm out to where the models are and what you're going to see is you're going to see this sign here that shows you, gives you an idea of where the models are and how many they got. And I think they got like about, I don't know, 16 or 17 models. This is what you'll see. And that kind of gives you a map. So real, just real quick as you walk through here, the center, they've got like three sections of them because this roof town, remember, it does have a 55 plus community in here. And so they got some models for that and we're gonna see that also. So, but just to give you an idea, I'm walking down like one of their model rows. So we'll go past here. I'm just gonna show you a shot. Like I said, this isn't gonna be a video tour of, of the models. I may have other videos of that where we show the different models, but here you go. And you see all these several models, you just walk in and check them out. And uh, now these are their higher end. So, I mean, just absolutely beautiful homes. Okay, and then this here is their second row of models. Here, I'll give you a quick look at this. There's some beautiful models. All right, now let's go hit the car and let's go for a ride and start checking out these neighborhoods. All right, well, let's take a ride now. Now we're going to leave the Welcome Center here. So um, I'm going to head on out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a map here to give you an idea of where Rivertown is in reference to Jacksonville and then where the whole community because it's a pretty large area. 
So as you can see there, there's Jacksonville, then the red arrow shows where Rivertown is, right there on the river. And we can zoom in and you can kind of get a look here and you see there's where the Welcome Center is, right there, okay? And that's where we're leaving right now. We're going to go out onto Rivertown Main Street, which I'll just call Main Street. And this just gives you an idea of how big this area is and the community. So we're going to drive around first and we're going to take a ride. We're going to visit one neighborhood first. The first neighborhood we'll, we'll visit is Groves. But um, I just want to say that we won't be covering everything because there's, I mean, there's just so much and it would turn into a six hour movie. So, but I just want to give you an idea of what, what things are like out here um, and what things look like. Um, so we're going to do a drive through first and then I'll do a walk through. Then um, I'll walk through the amenities, I'll walk through a couple neighborhoods, you know, dog park and some trails, there's all kinds of things. So here we're turning into the first one and this is going to be the Groves neighborhood and you see on this map, I'm going to show you where we're at. That red arrow shows where we're turning and then that red circle showed this neighborhood. So just to give you an idea, you see what it's like now. Notice you've got sidewalks over here on the um, left hand side. Okay, and then as we get around towards the corner here, you're gonna see um, there's like a park. Um, as we get there, we go on the right hand side. There's a there's a park there, and something about all these like um, these uh, these different communities and neighborhoods throughout Rivertown. They, they seem to have their own little parks and all that. Check out those houses. Do you see like the columns there on the front porches? I love that. That's kind of that old style. And that's something that I saw. Now, there you can see the park on the right, okay? And then here's some of the maintenance people that go around. Um, you know, you do have fees to live here, but they, they got a full-time maintenance people that come and they just keep this place groomed and clean. So it does make it an enjoyable place to live. Yeah, not like I was saying, some of these houses, I mean, it's really nice, um, you know, the style that they've got on them as we look at those. So we're coming around the corner here, looks like some people still left their trash out or putting their stuff out early. I try to come when there's no garbage day, you know, so we don't have all these garbage cans. All right, we're going to go back out here onto the main street. And what we're going to do here, we're going to hang a right. And just check out how much green space and I'll mention this several times because it's amazing as we're out here you see you got a, a, a trail on the, on the right there and then we've got another trail you know over on the left hand there for bikes and stuff right up here where that blue thing is that's a dog park and it's give you an idea where the dog park is and where we're at you take a look at this map and you'll see right there's the dog park and that's where we're at right now and as we're driving down uh, Rivertown Main Street And what's kind of nice too is there's so many communities here that if you're not sure which way to go at all, they have signs up for some of these intersections. Like we're coming up to one here now, and then I'll, I'll zoom in a closer look of the signs that they got showing you the different communities, like right there on the right. See, that's what they look like up close. And it tells you the arrows, what you're going to. And we're going to be going to the arbors here next. So we'll take this roundabout over this way. And even those roundabouts, they're beautifully landscaped too. Um, there's just, I mean, I mean the landscaping everywhere. What's cool too, you know, this place is called Rivertown. Check out the little structures here on the side. Like, you know, I don't know what those are called, but you know, they give you that, you know, feeling of being in a river town. You know, is, is where you're at. Now, this here is part of the arbors on the right. Now, those there are mostly built. There might be a couple that are still finishing. And we'll, we'll check out that though too later. But you see over on the right, see a lot of that new construction? Okay, that's gonna be the Arbor's neighborhood. And that's where they are selling now. So if you wanted to get a new home, this is one of the, the places where you can get the new home. And there's some nice size houses there. You see a lot of two-story homes and stuff. And so here's the map showing, that's it. Now these maps are, you know, not up to date because obviously there's construction going on now. The satellite map, you know, just shows like that there was just a vacant land there. But we're gonna be turning up here shortly. So here we go, into the arbors.
And you see this here. Now there are a, a few houses that are finished because you'll see people like this person jogging, taking the shot down here. Sometimes the lights, the lights, the compressor, I mean, uh, generator going. But um, you see all the houses still. I mean, being built in a lot of cleared lots where they haven't haven't really started much yet. Now, just the beginning phases. And what I'm going to do is. I'm going to turn around here and again you can kind of see down the street here a little bit but I don't like driving a lot down these areas where all the construction's going on because I'm just afraid I'm going to get a nail or screw in the tire you know so we'll back out here we'll come back out and once this is where we came in and then we'll go back out there to the main street Okay, here we're taking off down Main Street, and what we're going to do, the next turn that we're going to take is going to take us into North Lake, and this is actually on a road called Ruskin Drive, and North Lake is another neighborhood, and that's a pretty good sized neighborhood, it has a big lake around it, um, and that's on the opposite end of the other Arbor's uh, neighborhood. So um, what we'll do is show you on this map here. And you can see right there is where we're turning, where that arrow is, and then this is the North Lake neighborhood and development. We'll take a little bit of ride through here, um, just so you can get an idea of what this neighborhood is like. Um, because these neighborhoods, they all seem to have their own own character and all, and, and the houses, even though a lot of the same model homes, I don't know, just the way they set things up, it, uh, it looks different. Now, as you can see here, you've got the, you know, the, big pathway on the right there. Um, now, you know, golf carts are allowed around here, um, and they do have some some areas that are designated to share the road with the golf cart, and other areas that they only want the golf cart on. Um, so and there'll be signs, and we'll show some of those as we as we run into them so and see what they are. But, um, and I'll show you an example of both. But check out, did you see there on the right, the lake? And anytime you have like this, like parks like setting, like these green spaces where you have the water and the lakes like that, notice you've got the trail around and look at the landscaping on the side there too. Now we're coming up to the stop sign here. We're gonna hang a right. Now, one of the beefs I have around here is these stop signs is some of them are four-way stops and some aren't. See, this isn't a four-way stop. Well, here, let me show you where we're at first, you know. We're going to look at this. This is where we're turning. On, on, and there's North Lake Play Park, that, that area where the water was. And we're just going to go down there. And what I was getting at with the stop signs is that, is that there's the water on the side there. That's nice. Is that when you pull up, most four-ways would have the little emblem saying four-way stop okay underneath it you know so that you know it's a four-way but they don't do that here and that's something I wish they would do um, because man, you don't know if it's a four-way or just a two-way without looking see like there I can look and I can see the stop sign on the opposite end for that road coming out and that's what you got to kind of keep an eye on notice here you got the sidewalks on one side and a lot of them uh, are built like that. There are some neighborhoods that happen on both sides, and we're going to see that too. But I want you to just look at the style of the houses that we've got all around here. Here we are now. We're going to head up to, that's the, right there is the arbor, the, the boulder section. And as we're coming up to the stop sign where I showed you there. Now, arbor, right across the street, this is my it, this is where it started, so I think there might be just uh, maybe one or two houses that are still near nearing completion here. Um, but they've got a park too, and like I'm saying, these neighborhoods do. And this can say, now look at here. Now they've got a sidewalk over there on one side. You see that, and which is nice, you know, that you have the sidewalk. There's the park on the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive around the the park here area. And there's a house, I guess, right there finishing up. You see where the dumpster is, but we're gonna we're gonna do that. Come around this park here. 
and just as we're driving just take note of the style of the homes and how nice it looks and then also you know the landscaping you know which is incredible around here okay and what we're going to do is we're going to come out here we're going to go to another place called Haven and here's the map here showing and we're going to turn where that arrow is we're going to make a turn there and turn into the this haven area and over there where the red arrow now that's where north lake where we just came from so here we're making the turn in and it's into the haven neighborhood now i'm bringing you in here because this is another neighborhood that is that is selling so they have homes for sale right now now check out the pathways you got on both sides of the road here too now here you probably that's probably wide enough for a golf cart and here's Haven has several like sections to it. This one we're going to here is the one where you've got the houses that are under construction and that they're selling right now. So this is where you're going to find some for sale. See a lot of activity going on. Now, <laughs> one of the drawbacks is when you're first in a neighborhood and getting a house, then this is what you're putting up with for like about six months to a year. It's all this construction. So, um, you know, you know, but you know, in the end it is worth it, you know, so just get by here. It just gives you a little bit of look of what's going on and what's and all the building that's going on. You see, you got a mixture of two stories. They seem to have a lot of two story um, configurations here. People like those. And then there's a few one stories here and there. So um, I'm going to turn around and, uh, and go back out. So we'll head back on out here to the road, and what we'll do is we'll go over to the, over here, just a little ways, and next we'll turn in. It's part of the Haven neighborhood, but this is where homes that have already been built. Uh, there might be some late um, finishing homes, um, but I think for the most part these are all done, and I want to give you a, a look at, see what the neighborhood looks like. You know, after it's finished, you know, it looks a lot different <coughs> than when um, when everything's under construction. There we go. And this one here is uh, is a cul-de-sac dead end. So, see, so you got sidewalks on one side. Nice. Now, of course, you could ride golf carts all through here on the road. And it looks like somebody is. There's one house there that they're just finishing up some stuff. Looks pretty much done um, with just some minor details. Look at this here at the end. Look at the green space these people have here on the cul de sac, which is nice. If you've got one of those houses, now check out some of these houses. See a few there. Three car garages. So these are some big houses, and you got plenty of room. And a lot of them are two car, but then there's another three. All right, we're going to get back out here now on the road and we're going to this cul-de-sac and this here is where we just turned where that cul-de-sac is is the gardens neighborhood okay now these are some some unique houses through here and i'll and i'll show you why check them out you got parking in front and look at how you got the front porches out front okay and, and you can park there on the road but then also what's across the street is all that green space and the trail there you see some folks walking their dog so we're going to go in here through the gardens because even on the regular street, it's neat how these homes are. It's kind of like you know old, you know like old neighborhoods and old towns. You know back from the late 1800s and early 1900s. It reminds me of. Watch as we go down the street here. Now, now notice a little bit further up here. You've got some of these homes here. They don't have the garages out. Okay, there, see them on the right hand side where it just has the porches out there where they sit out on the porch. Okay, now the ones on the left have the garage, but all these here on the right, they have the nice porch that's out near the sidewalk. So when you're sitting out there, you see folks out there when they ride their bikes or walking, you can wave to them or whatever. You know, it's just nice sitting out on that, on that uh, front porch. And what they've got is they've got an alley behind that is where their garages are for these type of homes. So we'll turn here, and again, here's a park. Like I said, these all these little communities have a park, and there's a park there on the side. Now we're going to go down one of these alleys so I can show you. 
Now remember they had all those front porches out there and see all the garage entry from here. Now the ones on the left, those are the ones we saw before we, we, we turned in that I was telling you about and they, they face that park or that green space across the way. And then the ones over here on the right are the ones we just came from down the regular neighborhood street. So now as we head out, we leave the gardens. And we'll be out here on Orange Branch Drive. And then again here to see there's some more of those from the gardens where they got the porches out front. And they can, you just watch the folks, you know, either jogging or walking or riding their golf carts and all that. And then the parking's for anyone. Parking isn't restricted to the residents that live in the house. I mean, you could park there and go take your bike out on this trail over on the other side if you want or, or go for a walk. I'm going to show a map here where we are to give you an idea of location. And here we are at uh, Footbridge and Orange Branch right now. And that's just to show you like where we're at right now as we're driving through this area. So. See, this is a four-way stop and didn't have, didn't have it. Oh, here's one of those signs. Okay, this one here says share the road. So that means right there, you, golf carts aren't on the side. But when it says this, carts must use the path, okay, then that means they're not supposed to be in the road. You got to use the path. So you got to see where, where you're at, you know, with all that. And then there's, there was another entrance to North Lake was another neighborhood that we went through from, from before. So this is another way out. And just take note also, look at how they've planted all these trees. Yeah, they cleared out trees to build the houses and all, but look at all the trees they planted, you know, and a lot in front of a lot of these homes. And so over time, this is really gonna be nice, okay? As they as they grow on up. Now this here, look, you've got sidewalks on both sides. See, that's what I was telling you, some of these neighborhoods have the sidewalks on both sides. And um, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, you see a lot of decorations out front in the yards. I'm, I was filming this actually in the end of October, so it was just before Halloween. So a lot of people decorated for Halloween. And there's another park area on the side. And then look at some more of those houses with the porches where they park out front. And they just, you sit out on that front porch as people walk by. I mean, I really like that style. I, I hadn't seen that except for here. Okay, so coming up, we're gonna turn right here. I'm gonna show you on a map where we're at, okay. And oh, on the right there is, is the river house here. So right there is where we just turned where the arrow is. And we're heading this way with this arrow. And that area that I circled, now that's called the river house amenity center. And on the right hand side there is the park. And they'll have basketball courts and stuff like that, and playgrounds, and just pass and walk around. But that's where your amenity center is. If we came up to here and we took a, took a right, that would take us to the amenity center. Now I'm going to walk the amenity centers and show you. There's two of them. There's one on the river and then this one here. And I'm going to walk those out for you. And we're going to take a left here. We're going to go into an area, a neighborhood called the Homestead. Okay. And it's here. The first thing I notice is I got the two sidewalks, and we're getting deeper into this to this neighborhood now. So there we go. And see the two sidewalks. You see a lot of the front porches. You got more of that here. And then here we got the that look again of that river town structures. You know, which I think is pretty cool. You know, and the sidewalks on both sides. A lot of pedestrian crossings. Now you got to watch that. You know, as you're driving around here, someone's in those crosswalks. You got to stop. That's what those signs are there for. And again, these sidewalks on both sides just flow. You see some uh, Halloween stuff there on the right of that house. Um, so it's pretty nice. Now you could ride golf carts here on, on the road here and in the sidewalks for walking or I guess your bike too if you wanted to. And just take note of like all the all the green space you've got around here. Here's some more seat on the side. There's a lot of these little little water like small lakes or ponds whatever you want to call them and that, which is green space behind it. Halloween decorations and stuff.
real nice neighborhood. It gives you a real, this, this ride here just gives you a real nice outlook as to what these houses are. And here's some more green space. And we'll, we'll be, this will eventually take us out here to Orange Branch Road, uh, which will be the, the main road. Now, you notice on the right there, you see the mailbox cluster. Um, this, this area here, they've got, you know, you notice there's no mailboxes in front of the houses. They have these clusters with the mailboxes. And, you know, some people don't like that. They like coming out and get their mail in front. But you know what? Look how clean it looks. It really looks nice. There were some outrageous Halloween decorations I saw there. There's someone whizzing on their golf cart. And, uh, and it does look cleaner, you know? And there's some more green space. And just take note of all those tall trees that, that they left that are still there. Even if you're, you know, I mean, not riding a bike or walking or something, this is, look how pleasant this is. I mean, it's great if you're riding a bike or something. But, I mean, just driving, it's nice. And actually, you know, I'm thinking about it, what would really be nice is just riding a motorcycle through this area. Um, you know, I mean, the speed limit's like 25, so it's not like you're, you know, you know, on a crotch rocket, but it's, it'd be just nice just taking a ride on a bike out here just to open air, or even one of those electric bikes, you know, that, that could whiz you at 25 miles an hour. So. All right, we're going to... We're going to head off here, get back here on the Orange Branch, which is the main road, and we're going to go into another development, and this other development we'll be going into is if we hire in. Here comes someone else flying around on their golf cart on the path. Okay, this is one of those areas that that's a designated golf cart path. Now just up ahead here, we'll be making the turn, and we're going to be turning right there and into this neighborhood called Manor. And these are higher end homes um, that you're going to see. Right here you see on the side there, 600s. But, you know, it's hard pressed to find anything in the 600s. I think most of them are like in the 700s or 800s. Um, they're really big and nice homes. Again, you saw the share of the road sign for the golf carts. So, again, the golf carts ride through here. And this newer neighborhood here, and they'll be having the sidewalk on one side, I can see. Now, up ahead here, I been in this other house. See the yellow house there? Next to it is this greenhouse they're building. And that's a three car garage, massive house. Behind it, look at all those tall trees. Also has a golf cart trail right there next to it. And that house there I think was about 850. But look at all those tall trees. It's nice having that, that they left that when they left the green space. Now this neighborhood also has, there's all these like hiking trails throughout this, this whole river town. And there's one of them has a trailhead up here, and we're going to stop. Now, there's a pool company. Someone must be putting in a pool. All right. But um, we're going to stop up here, and I'm going to take and just show you where walk out where one of these trails are. And this will probably be the end of me driving around. The rest of this video, I'm going to be walking. There's some more mailboxes. I'm going to be walking around. So let's get out of this vehicle, and I'll walk over to the trailhead. Okay, as we walk down here, you can see these parking spots. They're not for cars, they're for golf carts. So, you, you know, in this neighborhood, and actually anywhere, anyone can use it, but it, mostly the people in this neighborhood probably would park their golf carts here and then go on these trails. Now, you can't use motorized vehicles. As you're going to see, the sign's going to show you where you are in kind of a map. If you look in the lower left, you see down there where it's just uh, hiking, jogging, and dog walking, okay, through these trails. And we'll see which trail this is. Two mile. Well, I'm not going to walk two miles, but I'm going to. I'll just give you a little idea as you walk through. And like I said, after this, then we'll start. Then the rest of this video, I'll be doing some walkthroughs of the amenities and some neighborhoods. But I just want to give you an idea here of this particular trail. Now, off to the right, you see there's some houses. So those people, they've got a nice backyard because this is their backyard. And then the trail actually goes off to the left there, you know, through the woods, and it's two miles. So that's it for the trail. Okay, if you look at the map right now, I'm over here. This is the first roundabout, and that leads you in when you're coming coming from the south. And we're at at one of the amenity centers called River Club, and this is the entrance to it. This is what takes you in. Here, take a look.
and we're just going to walk walk on down through here so you can check the place out i mean it's really nice when you come walking into this place it's really beautifully landscaped and of course this is all just for people that own homes in this community this is part you know part of the advantages of living here you got this yeah here we go there's this entrance you see right there river club and let's see we'll just go around i mean i love look at the trees the landscaping it's it's so nice and so they got a sidewalk here for those that just wanted to walk in and we'll walk down here to the area where the uh, pool is um, they've got a uh, walkway that goes out up on the st john's river it's really cool and they've got a kayak launch too um, they got a little like kids playground there too and uh, we'll see i mean this is something else i mean i'm here today i'm filming this here it's in october man beautiful sunny day the weather's crisp and, and clean oh, man it's so nice I mean, this this would be a great walk for anybody, you know, when you're in the neighborhood, you know, coming down to here. Now, yeah. Here's some parking. Check it out. They got plenty of parking here, all over here. Some more over there. Parking lot there. And there. Man, it's so nice. I mean, even though you got the highway right up there, you don't hear anything here. It's nice and quiet. I just hear the birds chirping. And then what we'll do, we're almost, we're almost to it. Right there is where the center is and I, everything. And of course, this is only for folks that are, that are residents here, but the uh, people here have allowed me to access to show you All right, once we go up, we're gonna go up the stairs, we're gonna go inside. I'm just gonna get them to open up the, the key for me to get in. And then I'm gonna start showing you the pool area and everything else around. All right, right now I'm over here by the pool area and this is outrageous. Wait till you see this, this pool area. It's so cool. And if you look around, you see they've got plenty of seats and chairs, you know, all with umbrellas. I mean, today's a real nice sunny day. So. I me, mean, I'd rather be in the shade, but if you want to get some sun, it's easy. And what's so cool too, it's one of those zero entry pools. Here, check it out, right here. You just walk actually into the pool without going through the steps. It's so cool. And check out, it's, it's a nice size pool and chairs all around. And then you've got over here, here, look at there. Let me just run around. You got this here where you've got places to sit down with the tables. And actually behind me over here there's like a, it's like a little like restaurant type thing cafe with a bar and it's it's open during certain hours it isn't open right now but that's pretty cool and then if you go down here a little further check this out got a fire pit ain't that nice I mean this is unbelievable I mean how cool this is and I don't know if you notice, I, one thing I love about areas like this, I love these, uh, these palm trees, you know, they got, and they got plenty of palm trees here. And lighting. And what's so cool, too, is we're right on the river. So let's just walk over here a little bit further, go down the steps. Check it out. another fire pit and I mean look at can you imagine when this thing sparked up and it's all nice and huge and you're all sitting around on a cool night love it and what's so nice is we've got the St. John's River here over on the other side now I'm telling you you know a lot of people you know they don't like the development stuff along the river and say you wanted a place along the river or something like this with a pool you probably couldn't afford it but this is part of living in this in this community 
and they really did a nice job. We're going to walk down here to the river. I'm going to show you what a nice job they did of developing this here on the riverfront. Let's just push the button to get in. And oh my goodness, I mean this walkway, check it out. And I just love these trees, all the trees around here. You see everything with, with all the, the Spanish moss hanging from them. I mean, this is, this is so North Florida. I love it. And this, this is a really nice walkway. It's right out over the water. Just make sure I don't drop my camera in the water. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Here, let's take a little walk down here. Look at this nice pathway. And I love all the trees right next to it. I mean, see what I'm saying? What they, how they did a really nice job. They put this walkway here, but you still got all this, you know, these plants and stuff. I love it, like the native palmettos. I mean, I love the palmettos. And then you've got, it looks, you know, some old wood and stuff that's, you know, I mean, it wouldn't be driftwood, but it'd be the closest thing you call it. And look at the moss on the trees hanging. It's beautiful. A nice bench right here just to sit and enjoy. Let's walk down this walkway because they have, I think it's what it's called, it's a kayak launch. So if you want to take a kayak out here on the St. Johns River, and I believe they got kayak rentals here too. There's a pavilion up here. This is really nice. I love this. Look, just check out the trees out in the water. I mean, it's a, the pool itself is enough, and the pavilion, they've got like a game room and all there. I mean, that's enough in itself, and that's in most places in these master plan communities. What you got is because they're inland so much, you're going to have, you know, you've got those pools and these are like resort style pools and, and amenities there, but you don't have on the river. This is unusual that this is a master plan community that's on the St. John's River. It's wild. Here, okay, we're going to walk some more here on this, uh, on this path. We're almost here up to where the kayaks launch is. I'm going to show you that. That's cool. Then we'll go. There's a pavilion here. It has the bathrooms and stuff. And I think they got the kayak rentals there. We'll check it out. Oh, this is nice. Now we'll head over here to the walk across the dock here. And there you see, there's your, those are the rollers and stuff to launch the kayaks. So there you can watch the kayak into the river. Pack yourself some drinks and some lunch, and you're good to go. Go back over the bridge here. Okay, I'm going to go over here to this area here where the where they got the restrooms and all, and I think they got like a little kids' playground there too. And it looks like they got like this little stage out here so they must have some events at times here check it out small stage but a nice open grassy area here check it and yeah here we go here's the here's the kayak rentals so they do rent the kayaks and I guess they must be in there and then there's that that kids playground I was telling you about now something and then of course this is the restroom facility there too look how nice it's landscaped out here this is beautiful now they got these like trails here going through like right here it's nice it'll take us back out to the parking lot and look how nice this is too it's right through all the trees here I mean this this <laughs> I'm just I just can't believe it. this is the first time I've been here so you know the scene is this is all new to me 
and the people here are real nice i mean because the only people that have access to this are folks that live here and you got a, a gate key to get in but they they went ahead and let me in to take this video just to show people because it's so nice check this i love seeing that all the water the trees you're just on top of it. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. It's a nice little trail. And let's see, yeah, it just goes right to there. We'll push the button here to get out. Open the gate. Again, the landscaping is is absolutely fantastic so well this this is this is one of the amenity centers like they said they got another one so we'll have to check that one out too but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the car we're gonna head out over to some of the neighborhoods we're gonna look at some of the other you know parks and stuff like that too okay right now Nat right now I'm at their dog park it's called Paw Park is it what it is yeah Paw Park here in Rivertown and I'm gonna scan the camera around so that you can see this park. I mean, it's it's pretty huge. So it's a, it's a large area, and you'll see they got spots for for you all to sit down while the dogs go out there and play. Now, here, as you can see, just check it out while I just scan this so you can look at it. See the nice shady area for for the folks to sit under, and then all the stuff. Then they got the water spouts for them. Even got a place to sit out in the sun if you like. Now, something else that's right here at the dog park is one of their big trails. Now, they've got these trails that they're putting in all over the place out here because they, they kept a lot of trees. As you can look here, I'll turn the camera around and look behind me. See all those, all those pines they kept? Everything's there. I mean that's real nice and what they done was they carved out some trails through all these woods areas so and they've got them numbered so this is trailhead number one and uh, as we can see on the on the sign here now you see there t1 that's trailhead number one that's where we're at and I tell you what, when you look at all these different trails here, and you look at, you know, quarter mile, half mile, mile, two miles, two miles, half miles, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be taking you on <laughs> a walk of all these trails, but this one here, let's just take a little walk and just see what it's like. Now, I haven't been on it before, so I don't know what I'm up against here, so, you know, I'm new to this like you are, like it says, you know, I just found out about this place a few weeks ago. Man, this is really nice. Now, you can see, you know, that it's it's hard packed there to where you can ride a bicycle. So you're you're allowed to take the bicycles out here, um, walking, of course, and jogging. I think um, your uh, your uh, dogs too. So. Just can't have any motorized vehicles but i'm going to check just to make sure that that bicycle thing is okay because i don't see no one out here on the bicycles then it's nice they have this little uh little things here with information on the history of the area i think that's pretty cool and we got like this little little bridge walkway here pretty nice because I got the Sun coming in my eyes now as we're going down that way I think they call this a wildlife observation area so all right now we're in some shade that suits me but it looks like it's kind of marsh area that's out here is when you look you can see how it's wet all through there and now it hasn't rained here probably in a week or so but like a marshy area and then of course all the all the trees everywhere around and this is a nice little pavilion and then there there you can see you know the dog park right over there all right let's go um 
we came to the fork we turned right to come to this now let's go let's go check out the other side and as i love like i said i love these natural you know um palmettos um here's some large ones so you know they're they've been older and the older pines too this is pretty nice All right, here's where we, we went right to go to the uh, wildlife observation. Now let's check out this other other trail through here. And check this out, just how nice it is. I mean, you know, that this carved out. And if you can ride a bike through here, this would really be nice. We'll check on that sign when we go back out. But um, Now you imagine how thick all this is, you know, when it's not cleared up, try to get through it. And then just check out these tall pines, tall trees. I almost got dizzy doing that shot. Let's see here. Man. You know, just a little while ago, I had to come back because that the maintenance company that does all their maintenance right here you know they decided to start doing the trimming and all that stuff the machines were going like crazy so we came back now it's nice and peaceful all i hear is my footsteps crunching on the ground when those uh, pine needles man this is gorgeous i mean really i mean uh I mean, you got the park in there. If you're not using the dog park, I mean, you got the park in there. The park here for this trailhead to come out here. So, you know, if you just want to take a nice walk, I mean, everyone living out here should be in shape. <laughs> well, look, and then also we got another fork. So there's there's some more trails going out that way. Now, I'm not going there. I need to I need to fix my way back. Let's see, Let's see what's there. Here's the sign which doesn't mean anything to me. See this big mound right there, that is. Here's another little marker. You know, this telling you the, about the pine trees. I think that's kind of nice that they have things like that. Here's some more, more signs. I guess where all those are. I guess what the best thing to do is just take and there, see another trail going way down there is to um well, let's see where this one goes and uh doesn't look like it's walked much um i guess the best thing to do is like take a snapshot or if you have a map there of that map we that was in the beginning when i first got on here and uh give you an idea where where these trails go and i guess you know since you're out in the wilderness here you do have to probably probably be cautious of maybe like some snakes and stuff, but most of the snakes here in Florida are non-venomous. And even the ones that are venomous, if you stay away from them and don't try to mess with them, they generally stay away from you too, so you don't have no problems. Now, of course, you got the lakes and stuff around, so you could have alligators, but I don't see no lake on this trail, but that don't mean nothing. Those things, they'll, they'll walk through the woods to get to, uh, to, get to water. Well, I thought this thing was going to loop me around. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, here I am. Looks like I'm just digging myself deeper. Oh, I, I think I see some blue up ahead, and that was from the that was from the dog park. So that's good. And then I just saw I saw some cars there. So I think we're heading back out, we're just on the other end. All right doing good man this is nice all right now we're back here where we started there's a let me just go up there and let's just see if they allow bicycles no no bicycles 
it right there no bikes golf carts no nothing all right so you got your doggy you can run and you gotta walk okay so do's in yellow don'ts in red all right okay here i am at at one of the amenity centers called river house okay now this one's not on the actual river like the other one is but here you've got that area right there behind me is the pool area which we're going to go check out but also i mean they can't this whole area is called river house but they kind of call this the river house right here now this is like a like a, a pavilion and all that residents can rent out like if you had parties or you had events or something you can you can rent this place out and and do that and it's pretty cool here i'll just take a look at what it's like inside as you can see it's got a beautiful ceiling got all this room it's great for your events also you've got the this office area right here and then what's kind of neat you have this architectural um archaeological not architectural archaeological area here's something that's that's cool is right on the outside of it look at this whole open area here check out the palm trees i love the palms and you can see the lights that go through them beautiful area and this big fire pit here know how cool this must be at night when they fire that up and you're just sitting around i love it And of course, you got the barbecue grill. All right, now let's walk down here to like uh, they've got tennis courts that are right next next to everything here. So I mean, you've got quite a bit. So if you got the swimming, you can hang out here, you know, with your friends and all that. Also, here's your tennis courts next door. Now, right now they got sprinklers on, kind of cool them down, so I guess you wouldn't be playing much tennis right now. But this is so cool. What a nice area. And if we go down the steps here to this area, you've got some more on this side. And what I love too, you know, like if you've ever seen any of my other videos, I love the natural, um, the, the na native palms and all in the palmettos. And, and check it out how they, they left the palmettos here. Because those things probably left, I don't think they transplanted those. So that's pretty cool they left that there. And the whole area does have a lot of green space and a lot of trees. I mean, as you, as you look around, well, here's the tennis courts, the other ones. But as you look over the tennis courts, just check out all the trees that you can see around. That's nice. That's, and you're seeing more of that with these master plan communities where they come in and they leave a lot of green space and all that. And then they have the tr walk, walking trails and stuff like that. Instead of like in the old days, they used to just clear out everything and put the houses and nothing and just plant new trees. And then, you know, take 20 years for them to grow here. But um, this is nice. And of course, the regular landscaping throughout that they've done. And they've got these maintenance people. I've been trying to duck around them because they're out there tree trimming and stuff like that. Always keeping this place looking good. All right, now I'm inside the pool area. Now what they got here at River House, they've got two pools. They got your regular swimming pool, as you can see here. Of course, they've got this slide off to the side. That's for the, that's for the kids to enjoy. Or adults can, I guess, too. But look at this, isn't that gorgeous? And then what we have, we have another pool over here. We've got a uh, we've got a lap pool. So I'm going to take you over there. We'll walk by here. I'm going to show you one of my favorite spots around a pool area. I know a lot of people, they all want to be out and get into the sun and all that. But what I'm going to do, and also if you notice, you've got, you've got uh, a handicap lift too, which is nice to get in. You've got the stairs going into the pool here. On the other side, it's one of those zero entries. So you just, you just kind of walk in, you know, you don't have to jump in. You just walk in easy. Some people like that. But what I like here, this spot here. It's all shade. I love being in the shade. That's right. And then check it out. You got the nice barbecue out here. So you can imagine how fun this place is. You know, once they fire up the grill, you got people out here, you got the pool. Just listening to the water, it sounds great. I mean that's relaxing. I could I could fall asleep out here. Here's a better look at the zero entry. 
what I'm talking about. Some, some of them refer to it as a beach entry. Now we'll go walk over here to where the lap pool is. I don't know, it looks like this darn thing is set up for competition. They got the they got the spots, the starting spots here, so they must have something. That's pretty cool. And then um, also around here, you know, just like all through all through this place, not just here at the river house, but this this whole development, they've got trails everywhere. Well, in fact, here, let me show you. Trails just on the outside of, of the river house complex. Check this out. You got, got a lake there, and then you've got all that. That's a pathway to walk around. I mean, that's what's incredible about this place. And then check out those homes over there on the other side. Do you imagine this is your view? This is your view here. So, all right now we'll walk on back by. And also, just notice all the landscaping and stuff they got. And when you got there, you got some folks bike riding on the trails, and it's just beautiful landscaped everywhere around. I mean, this this place is spectacular. No matter no matter what amenity center you go to. You know, right next to the river house, here where the pool and everything is, they've got this like park area. So what they got is they got a soccer field. Again, just look at the landscaping. I mean, you see everywhere, it's nice. And everything's like manicured. But here's your soccer field, which is pretty cool. And right over here, they've got the basketball courts. So walk right through here and here's your basketball courts. And it's set up where you got a full court or a half court. This is nice. And then I mean just I mean just love it. You got the trees around, you got the lake over on the other side. Check it out. And then there's like a kids' playground right up here. So it's great. You got all this right here at this amenity center, which is really nice. And you know, you know, I keep talking about it, you know, you've got all these um trails everywhere which is nice um, walkways pathways some you can bring a golf cart on some you can't but um, check out this trail here now this one runs over on the other side of the pools and stuff but um, you got the sidewalk and all but it makes for a nice walk I tell you what more of these videos and I'm gonna be losing a lot of weight walking around <laughs> yeah but check Check it out, the view you've got here of, of the lake around as you're walking. See, and, we're com and we're coming up now over to the uh, other side here where I was on the, when I was at the pool and I was showing, showing you the walkway. Let's see, it'd be right here. This here is the path that goes behind the pool that I was showing you from the other side. I mean, if, you're, if you want a place where you've got plenty of pathways and bikeways and all that, place to walk your dog, well, I mean, this is it. All right, here I am walking on the sidewalk on the other side of the soccer field. Um, you got a nice wall sidewalk, and what I'm going to do, and you can see beautiful landscaping again over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to this other neighborhood, and it's called the Homestead, as you can see on this map. Okay, as we walk over this this section here, this neighborhood, all here through here that you're seeing, now this is called the homestead. As you look on the map, you see where it's at. And now, what's so cool about this is, you know, all these neighborhoods are, are different, but you can see these these homes. They've got like porches 
that are right up here by the sidewalk. So, I mean, it's so neat because as you can be hanging out on your front porch and the style of these houses look like they were homes that were built like 100 years ago, which I love. I love that style. They say now homes don't have any style to them and all. Here you see some more Halloween stuff. <laughs> I mean, because, because we're here during the, in October. Um, but these homes do have style and they do have character. And they, and they have that look, like I said, like it used to be. This is pretty cool. And, and then just look at this, this sidewalk. It's all tree-lined. Now, something that else you'll notice is that out in front of these homes here, they, they do have street parking. Um, well, people can park here to go to the park across the street, I guess, if they wanted to. But, I, I mean, you can park here, I guess, if you live here. And, uh, you know, but these homes also that are, that are close like this, I mean, just look at this. I, I love this. Um, these homes here have an alley in the back. So what they, what they do is back there is where they put, like, the trash cans for a pickup. But also they have garage um, so that they uh, can park in the back and park in their garage there. So they have a garage entry from the back of the house. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna go around the corner here and I'm gonna take you over to, uh, to show you the alley on, on how all that is. But this is, this is really neat. Now, of course, the homes here in the homestead, I want you to get a lot of trees. And again, look, and I love the sidewalks. Here, this, there's actually sidewalks on both sides here, um, which, which is unusual but um let's see here look at this man it's so nice all right now here's the alleyway okay see so as you go down the alley and then you can see the garage doors and check out some of these houses like you know there we got three car garage another two car but that's the alley I'm not going to walk down there because there isn't much, much there to see. Here's an another alley shot. But again, this this homes th this homestead area is all built out. So, if any, if you had a chance of living in here, it'd be it'd be one, a resale home. So. Just get an idea as I'm crossing the street. You see what I'm talking about, about the street parking out front, you know, of these these homes. And then street parking here where you got the park over here on the other side and there's that water. But then look at all tree line. I mean just trees everywhere. Tree lined everywhere. I mean I love it. Let me get out of the road and get back on the sidewalk. And we'll go check out some other place. Hey, if you look at the map now. Here's about where we're located here from this development. And if you look, these are some of these houses. Now, well, let's just walk down here. You can see this part of where I just drove through where we've got um, uh, some new construction going on. Um, these homes here, notice how they got the nice front porches right out here, right off by the sidewalk. And uh, you know, this particular one's actually pretty nice. It's got a two story where it's got, you know, an upper patio looking out but these homes here notice that the porch is out out by the sidewalk there so people could sit out as people are walking or something you can say hi to your neighbors and just you know watch what's going on you've also got right across the street and what we do is we'll cross here and especially if you live here I mean you have this access to it you got the the uh, way here for like the golf carts or the bikes and all that look at how nice that is i mean it's a nice wide paved area and then also something notice like see this here this is all through this place where you've got these like little lakes or ponds and stuff set up so you've got parks everywhere you've got these little ponds and stuff i mean landscaping galore i mean 
you could spend all day out here just taking a bike ride. Actually, what would really be cool to use is if you had one of those e-bikes, you know, those electric bikes, and you just cruise along it and all through here. Or, of course, if you've got a golf cart. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take us over into this other little neighborhood that's right here, and it's on a cul-de-sac, and just show you, you know, what it looks like. Okay, this neighborhood that we're looking at right now is called Preserve, and as you enter, this is what you see when you're coming when you're coming in, right here, the preserve, and then there's the there's the lake. Isn't that great? Here, let's just walk through this neighborhood, just see what's going on. And like I said, you know these different neighborhoods. You know you'll see all different kinds of houses, different types. I mean because, as you saw, they have so many models to choose from that when they they build out and they spread them out you know they spread all these models all so it doesn't look like the same models on top of each other even though you've got some that are similar but you know they do make a little bit of differences and here just check it out check out the street now this of course look at you know here we are in uh you know again october you know we're getting just before halloween so you see all the halloween decorations and I have to say, I don't know if I've seen uh, neighborhoods that have as much decorating for Halloween as I've seen in this place. Um, and I like it, and I can't wait to see what it would be like at, at Christmas time if if they if they do this for Halloween. Man, Christmas must be really pretty out here. Nice, but here we see the different types of style houses. See, you see some with two-car garage, three-car garage, several three-cars. Looks like people like basketball out here a lot. I've seen, I see a lot of hoops right here. You know, some people got them like in their driveways, and some people, you know, got them out by the road where they have them. And something, it's nice. I'm, I'm just visualizing if I was living here and just taking a walk. Man, it's. You know, it's just, just a comfortable place to, to live. And now this, this particular place is on a cul-de-sac, so. But again, just look at the style of the homes. You know, I mean, it's like every house looks almost different. Even though I, some of them aren't, I mean, you just get that feeling. No. All right, let's go uh, head back out. I'm gonna head back out to the road and then what I'll do is um, I'll just walk through another neighborhood just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now just like most of these um, most of these uh, neighborhoods here practically all of them have close to the homes and all like a playground for the kids and all um, place to hang out um, and sidewalks uh, which I like so um, and this is no different in fact right here we've got the playground here and it's nothing extravagant. It's not like the amenity centers, but still it's nice. They got them through the neighborhoods. And then they got, and it's for everyone to use because you can see all the parking right here. So people can pull up and park. So whether you come by a car or you got your golf cart, it doesn't matter. Um, now, it's strange. So most of these neighborhoods I've seen have sidewalks, like I say. I don't, um, I don't, know if I've seen one yet that doesn't have sidewalks and at least they're on like one side so um, as you can see now this neighborhood here is still a little bit under construction but it looks like yeah this one here's got sidewalks on both sides that they're doing so that's that's a little bit unusual um, I like that and now these particular houses though too, I think they got an alleyway where you've got the um, you've got the a garage in the back on some, and then these on the other side of the street got the garage as you can see on the on the front. So you really got two different styles here of homes, which is pretty neat. And once it's finished, I mean, it'll be really, it'll be really nice. 
And again, you can see, like you can notice the different styles of homes. And um, since they still got building here, you probably can still get a new home in this area. Okay, now I'm at a spot that's just a little bit north of the amenity center there that, was, that we were just at on the river. And this here has like a fishing pier out there. Man, walking trails. They got some restrooms here, plenty of parking. But they got, here's the map that shows it and check it out. Now, that star there, right there, that's where we're standing right now. And then that was off the road, and then that was that circle over there. Um, right here, then I say, is the fishing pier. So we're going to take a walk there, but check out this red dots. That there, that's a long trail there. That's called the North Trail. Then the yellow one is the South Loop Trail. So it loops all around, comes there, back up here. And, and then there's a, what they call an overlook. And what is that? That's the South Overlook, there's a North Overlook. Okay. Um, well, let's take a walk over and see where this pier is. And I'll see the restrooms, but I ain't walking that whole trail there. That'll do me in. But and it's nice and shady with all these trees here. I love it down here. I mean, there's there's this asphalt paved trail, so you can ride your bikes. That's really nice. And walking through and just look at trees everywhere. I mean, they left all this up, nice and natural. So let's head over to where this pier is and uh, check it out and these should be the restrooms Let's see here. yep they are open grassy area and then right over there behind me is that where that circle is that takes us into the development you know river town but let's we're going to walk on out here and check out this pier now Again, you know, as we saw on that map, there's a south loop where there's a trail that goes all the way around and then the trail goes back that way. But uh, I think showing you on the map was enough. <laughs> and there's the pier. So let's see, what's it say here? It tells a little bit. Oh man, I love this. Check that out. Where the where the tree came down there, but it's still alive. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I mean, and then again, you got all those palmettos and all that, all the Spanish moss in the trees. Like I said, man, this is all North Florida to the max. Got to make sure I don't drop my camera in this in this water. But here's that tree right up next to us. That is so cool. I'm glad they left it because that's that's natural. Now, I don't know if someone will clean it up or not, but I hope they don't. You know, I love seeing stuff like that. So this is a pretty long pier. And we got a really good view here of the St. John's River. And then there's that there's that outlook right there, the south outlook. I don't know if we can see the north outlook. Looks like Further over there, you can see it looks like a kayak launch. Oh man, this is so cool. And this is just open to the public. I mean, everyone comes out here. Here, check it out, this pavilion here on the edge of the pier. Here, give me, I'll come to the edge here and we'll take a nice look at the St. John's River. Man, I just love the smell of the water. It's nice with the sun going down. We got the sun, see how it's glistening off the water? I love that. Man. You know, when you're out here, when you're out here like this and you just see all the trees and all lined up against the riverbed, that it, I mean, you don't even know there's a development here on the other side of the street. You feel like 
you're just isolated and all alone out here. You know, Rivertown has so much more that I couldn't possibly fit it all in this one video, but I wanted to give you a pretty good look at what Rivertown was like and what it's like living here. So based on what you saw and everything that you saw that Rivertown has to offer, you got one question now you got to ask yourself. Could you see yourself living in Rivertown?